All right, welcome to this episode of Let's Rap. I have my lovely, lovely co-host, Lisa Crutcher Thurman, and my baby, <laughs> Ebony Egram Jones, is back with us this week. She has been studying hard. We appreciate everything she's done. She's taking her finals, and we are just praying that God has given her total success for what she's done, and she passed them all in law school. She's doing great things. Make sure you keep her in mind, because she's going to represent us one day. <laughs> Hopefully, she don't have to, but I want her to be over my money, so <laughs> we got that. So, speaking of that, today we're going to talk about time. So, um, this is an important topic to me because, number one, I'm not always the best steward of my time. I'm not, and I'll be the first one to admit that. Um, um, I have a good friend, Donald, who is great at time. Really? I'm not. He writes a to-do to, to do list really? every day. Mm -mm. No, I don't even know what really? that means. So, just kind of talking through time. So, one thing that I want to bring up. So, Dean Del Sesto had a statement. He said, time is the natural currency of life. Mm -hmm. Do we waste it, spend it, or invest it? Mm -hmm. What do you Ooh. think you do with your time? I mean, I thought that was deep. I that said, is. do we waste it, spend it, or invest it? So just like your money, your time it's is very your money. valuable. It's, it's valuable. very valuable. Very valuable. So how do you, what do you do to manage your time, Lisa? Well, I cram a whole lot in one day. I'm from here, there, yonder, and I think I do really good with time because I get a lot done. Yeah. But um, I get my husband fusses because I do cram a lot in one day. And then, wait a minute, what am I supposed to be there? And, can't, mm -hmm. and sometimes things overlap and I have been known to forget some things mm -hmm. because of it. So I um, could use some time management tips. Right. Cool. So Ebony, what do you do? I know time is really important with you. Very important. So. And that's another area of improvement in my life. Okay. Time management, number one, what because of what she said, too much to do. Yes. yes. And then you get so bogged down with all the responsibilities, sometimes the main things get pushed to the back yeah. because you're exhausted yeah. by the time it's time to do those things. So, you know, you end up wasting more time. So it's, yeah, I need help with that. I need a personal cool. assistant. <laughs> we all did. So uh, let's see what the word says about time. So we often look forward to what what our time will bring, but it's better to look at what we will bring our time. Mm. Uh, so it was Ephesians 5, 15 through, uh, I'm sorry, this is Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity Ooh. because the days are evil. Yes. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Wow. So, you know, it tells you right there, you know, mm. we have to manage our time. And then, of course, we all know Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, uh, 1 through um, 4. To everything there is a season and a time and every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck. Pluck the that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. So it's a time for everything. And we it's, it, we are stewards, stu so like we said in the beginning, like Dean uh, Del Sesto said, you know, time is like, it's our natural currency. It is. And what are you gonna do with it? Just like with your money, are you gonna spend it? Are you uh, gonna yeah. invest it? Uh, what, what are you going to do? What are those things that you're going to do to better invest your time? Um, and then it's one thing that never changes. You get uh, 1,440 <laughs> minutes a day. That's okay. it. No matter what you do, whether you're rich, poor, well, working on something, is. it does not matter. That's all you get every day. It never changes. That's mm -hmm. forever. What are you going to do with that time? What are you going to do? So today we're going to talk about some tips. So what I was reading when I was researching this, the several people said that make a daily time audit. Ooh, Start auditing your wow. time. Wow. How are you spending your day? I'm glad you said that. <clears throat> Apple has a wonderful feature, a screen time feature, and it tells you how much time you spend yeah, on your phone on, it's true. Yes. on the week. Yes. Your your screen time has increased or your screen time yes. has yes. decreased. Yes. Yes. That type of thing, you've got to, you've got to monitor it because it'll get away from it you. It will. Social media is a big time waste. I am so glad you said mm -hmm. that because every time I get those, when I first started getting those, and I really didn't pay attention to them until the pandemic. Mm -hmm. okay. So like through yep. the pandemic, right, right, I was right. saying, I was, it said 20 hours. I was on. <laughs> Are you for real? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Wow. In one week? Yes. What? Yes. On social media. Yes. So I really, that made me be a better steward mm -hmm. of okay. what I was okay. looking at. Yep. Because you are what you pay attention mm -hmm. to. And uh -oh. you are what you uh -oh. spend your yes, time that's with. That's it. So, and that consumes you. And then, like we said before, it is your it's your job to either observe or absorb. Ooh. Now, it's one or the other. Now, after so long, you're going to just start, start absorbing all oh, this stuff. Oh, stop You it can't now. keep looking at stuff yeah. okay. and not absorb yeah. it. So mm -hmm. what are you doing with your time? So do a time audit. Do a daily audit of your time. Mm, so, good. like, think about today. Now, maybe assess it tomorrow or even look at the weekend and then go on Monday. What did I do this weekend? Mm -hmm. Okay. What did I do? Okay. You know, we always talk about how fast time goes mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. time is fleeting, time is fluid, time mm -hmm. continues to move. It does. But what are you doing in the time that you get? Because mm -hmm. even though the time might seem like it's going fast, it's still 1,440 mm -hmm. Uh, minutes per day. It's You're true. still getting the mm -hmm. same time. And not only that, Derek, I caught myself almost every day within the past month saying, I'll be glad when all this is over. Talking about finals. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll be glad when this is over. I'll be glad when it's the end. I'll be glad. And I read an article and the author said something about Stop wishing time away. Yes, yes. Because you won't Stop. get so You're much. You're not going to get it back. No. I know things no. look like, but right. you have to be intentional about respecting time. Absolutely. And that means not saying, I wish it. No, you don't wish it's go hurry up. Enjoy guess the what? right now. It's fleeting. It yes, you it need is. to find some beauty in right now. Right. So um, that's, that's important, too, how you... Spend your time, Absolutely. how you evaluate your Absolutely. time, oh. how you um, respect your time and yes. say, you know what, this is my time, it's a little rough right now, but I know time is fleeting, it's short, we're not yep. giving a lot of time on earth, let me take full advantage of it and let me appreciate Absolutely. what I have. Because you only get so much, uh -huh. yeah. so you are so right, stop wishing your life mm -hmm. away, because that's what you're doing. That's mm -hmm. what you're doing. We don't know the day, not the hour, know. when we're going to be called home when it's mm -hmm. our last time. It's going to be one time, it's going to be the last time, time we do this show, mm -hmm. say it's it. going to be the last say time it. we see say one another. Mm -hmm. So stop wishing the time, time away, away yeah. and instead of counting, the, make the days count. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Make every minute count instead of counting the minutes. Make yeah. them count. Mm -hmm. I know I want you to share that. Point. No, I've got two things I got to share. Okay, go ahead. Well, you want me to go now? You can go. Well, this next point might lead up to okay. that. So the other thing, not just a daily time audit, but make a to-do list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this Donald does this well. It ain't me. But he mm -hmm. does a to-do list every day. And then he wow. checks his items out. Wow. And then you think about how rewarding is that when you yeah. look back on your day yeah. and you actually did what you set out Absolutely. to do. Absolutely. It's satisfying. Yeah. It is. And it's mm -hmm. sad with the make a to-do list. It's also plan your day. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't just let your day happen. Yes. Plan yes. your yes. day. Talk about what mm -hmm. you want to get finished. Speak that thing out loud okay. and then write okay. it down or even put it in your phone. But plan your day. Don't let your day mm -hmm. just go away. Plan the day. And make it, so I'm gonna try these things. I okay. mean, this is not just for you. This is for us, cause it's about to make us better. Right, right. You know, I'm talking to myself to make a to do list <laughs> yes. to be more productive yes. and not just let the days happen. So, what was well, your Look, I got another thing now. My uncle John Whiting got arrested, so he always said, "You always have time for the things you put first. Mm -hmm. And so, if something's really important, you need to put that first, which brought another thing what passed out um i'm had the big jar and you put the big things in first because if you fill it up with all the little things that don't amount to much it's not gonna be room for the big things right. so what's really important we need to make that a priority on our to-do list yes. but in this also pastor shared many years ago um life is just a minute i've only just a minute only 60 seconds in it Forced upon me, can't refuse it, didn't seek it, didn't choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give an account of how, if I abuse it. Just a tiny little minute, but eternity is exactly. in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's holding you accountable. Mm -hmm. I mean, our time is important. It is. We don't get enough time, but us, even as Christians, if you take it to another level, even as Christians, it is important for us to govern everything and take care of whatever God gives us. Time is one of the major Absolutely. things that he gives us, is we have time. We don't know how much time, but we have time. And in the time that we have, are we using it to help somebody? Are we using our time to take care of things that we need to take care of? Are we doing our Christian duties by trying to bring somebody to Christ or something wow. in that sense? Are we showing our life? Is our life an example of what we should be showing? You know, what, what are we doing with our time? So it was a, um, a part of said part of to, uh, making a to-do list. 20 minutes of doing something 
is more valuable than 20 hours of thinking about doing something. Ooh, that's the truth. So Ouch. read it again. 20 Ouch. minutes of so doing something doing is more valuable than 20 hours of thinking about doing something. Hmm. So focus on one wow. thing at a time. Stop trying to do a thousand mm -hmm. things at once because you'll never finish anything. Mm -hmm. Think about it. When people are like scatterbrained and they just keep trying yeah, stuff and starting stuff, it's like in life, it's hard to follow through sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you have to have stick to itness. Mm -hmm. That's the difference that between is. people who that finish is. school, uh -huh. finish a project, mm -hmm. perseverance, doing something. Absolutely. It's all about your mindset. Yes, it you is. You cannot start something and not finish it. But that is a planned mm -hmm. thing. Yes, yes. You have yeah. to plan that. Yeah. And, and a, I'm so glad you said that because what that reminded me of is um, a quote that I heard a long time ago, and it is, time continues on whether you're ready for it to continue or Absolutely. not. Absolutely. So there's no such thing as standing still. Either you're moving forward or you're moving backward because time is going on. It is. If you stand still, time is passing you by, yes. which means you're essentially going mm -hmm. backwards. Yeah. Wow. You don't, you don't have you don't have the space and the privilege to just be, well, what do I do standing still, not making any progress, because you're moving behind with that. Yep. Because life yes. needs you to move on with it. Absolutely. You gotta move on with it. You do. And, and that's, that's with anything. Anything. Just like if something happens, don't get stuck. Mm -mm. Don't get stuck with things. You know, like what Lisa was telling us about her personality, how, you know, half time she don't remember anyway yeah. <laughs> but she says she doesn't she does if somebody has a problem with her or something happens sure. that's not my problem mm -hmm. that doesn't belong to me and if we really have that person now that attitude if we really ex adopt those characteristics then our life number one would be much better mm -hmm. less stressful mm -hmm. and then you can focus on the things that you really should take matter. time to do and do them better because that that's what matters you know think about it and, and time is so important because we have so, so less of it. I mean, mm -hmm. you can have to be 100 and still be like, the well, first thing you do when you get sick, or you get a bad report from the doctor, what do you say? I wish I had I more time. Mm -hmm. I wish I did this. I wish I did that. Don't wish, just do it now, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and some people don't live long, but you gotta live strong. That's it. You gotta live Make strong. Make the time count. Make every minute mm -hmm. count because you don't know when your last one will be. And it's coming, we all gonna have it. I mean, we was not here to stay forever. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here on borrowed time. Mm, borrowed. <laughs> borrowed time. Borrowed. And it's not her. So, <laughs> That's true. A question I kind of want to ask, just to kind of put out there, do, do I look at time with little urgency and live on earth as if there is an endless supply? Mm. Do you, I mean, just ask yourself that. And I mean, that's one of those questions you don't have to answer now, mm -hmm. but it's just something that you think, think about. about. You know, how arrogant is it to mm. think wow. that you have time, time. Mm -hmm. to do what it is God called you to do? Mm. How arrogant mm -hmm. is it to think that you have more time to mend a relationship mm. that you know you should have mended years ago? Uh -oh. How uh -oh. arrogant is it to be forceful or, or just be nasty to somebody or not repair something that you, you have the power to repair now? Right now. You know, or either do something that God called you to do. Do it now. Mm. Right now. That's arrogance it to think that you have more time mm. to do better, to do right. I'm going to get myself together tomorrow. No, this might be it today. I'm going to work out tomorrow, lose weight tomorrow. No. You might die tomorrow. You might go. Take care of yourself today. Now. now. And then it might be too late. Mm -hmm. If you get a bad report or you get something like that or they, you know, you're trying to keep from your health from being bad or mm -hmm. something, exercise. Do it yeah. now. Just get up. I had to tell myself last night, I've gotten to a habit. It happens. And just not managing my time, mm -hmm. working, making excuses. I don't feel like going to the gym. Don't feel like, yes. And I got up and I went and I felt so much better. Yes, yeah, not I just because I went to yeah. the gym, but because I got yeah, up. up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got there. Yep. Okay, so God, I'm here. Yeah, now, right. I gotta exactly. do something. You gotta give me something. Yeah. Because I'm right. tired. I don't, have <laughs> I don't even want to be it's here. It's just about being honest, uh, and being transparent, and, and taking and really trying to maximize the time that we have left. Mm -hmm. Now, Oprah, she had, I want to say it's Eckhart Tooley, and he oh, wrote yeah. the book on the power of now, and that is being present. And that was one of the books um, in the counseling that we had, too. You gotta be present with yeah. people. Mm -hmm when you have time, when you're there, right then. Mm -hmm. You can't wait, well, I'll talk to her about that next week. Mm -hmm. You don't N know. No. 
-hmm. if it's going to be a next week. Right. Mm -hmm. And be know. present with that person, not on your phone. Yep. Yeah. Be present. Not thinking about what I'm going to do. No. You interact and mm -hmm. be present right now. And if you do those things, think how how much more that important that conversation will be. Think how much more effective that would be. You know, like my best friend Rico, cuz, I'm just gonna be honest. When I talk to him sometimes and I'm on my phone and I'm doing something, he'll stop talking and look at me. Is he a teacher? What is going on? He was like, Derek, can we just have some time to talk? Mm. And I was like, Ugh. you know how right. I don't feel right. good, yeah. but he's truthful. Right. That's the truth. You know, cause I'm thinking about how would I feel if I'm trying to have a conversation with you and you oh, okay, yeah, I hear it. And you know you you Not, hearing, but yes. nobody multitasks uh -huh. that well. Right. So that's a very good point. You're gonna Be miss present. Stuff. You're gonna mm -hmm. miss something. And it's something about eye contact. Mm -hmm. some, that's why I hate email. I hate email, mm -hmm. I hate chat at work, because you don't get to hear the person's voice. You don't get to do anything. Yeah, everything. You don't get to do anything. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and the text can come across as yes. harsher than you mean yeah. it because you're texty yeah. and you say the same thing and with the in voice the and yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely be present with that person mm. and you know he's done that several times to me and i'd be like is he for real but but that's the truth it's true and so respect now people. i've learned he's you respect me. his time absolutely because i'll set it right down and do just like mm -hmm. this absolutely but then the one thing that we haven't added and that we'll talk about spend time with the master mm. oh okay. spend time with god make time yes. for god and that's not just you talking to him you need to sit back yeah. and see what he pours into your spirit. And then you have to be spirit. quiet and listen. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. After you give him time, yes. give him real time. Yes. Talk to him. Don't just talk about what you need mm -hmm. and pray about what things are going on. Give him some time to speak back mm -hmm. to you. You know, we, we don't give God enough time that we should. And we need to work on that relationship. So I have, this to me, this one was at home. This mm -hmm. hit me because like you said, you, you in my neighborhood, you want me, I mean, ouch. <laughs> uh -huh, because right. it's something that I definitely want to do. Uh -huh. Me being, I'll be 44 years old, uh, December, and I this am- month? Yeah, this <gasps> month, so I'll be 44. And I am grateful for the time, because I remember you, in 2012, didn't even think I was gonna uh -huh. be here any no. longer. He's giving me even more time. Thank you, Lord. So that time that he's giving me, I just want to make sure that as I look back, and when my last day is, that my life would have spoken for me. Mm -hmm. You Absolutely. know, things that I've done, mm -hmm. you know, the things that I've taken in my relationship with him is already secure, but I'm strengthening mm -hmm. oh, by yeah. spending time and not just talking to him, but also giving him opportunity to speak to me and mm -hmm. my spirit. Uh, any last words before we? I appreciate y'all bringing that out because I am going to make a to-do list. I used to do that, but now that I'm retired, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there's so many things I still want to accomplish right. and yeah. things right. to do, yeah. so a yeah. to-do list yeah. is on my to-do list. I'm mm. going to start doing that daily. Do one thing at a time. And yeah. keep That's me it. focused yes. so that I can get to the Absolutely. other things. I think this conversation has just um, reminded me to view time as a gift. Yes, It's it not is. something that we just are automatically entitled to. No, no, no. no. It is a gift. gift, and when someone gives you a gift, you need to be appreciative, and, and you need to make yes. make on, you know make good on it. Oh, so yes. that's what I um, that's what this um, this conversation has shown me. I need to focus on. Absolutely, I am so that's glad good. that you are back. I'm so glad. Yay. I'm, I'm so glad, glad that you are here back. with us this morning. Yeah. I'm yes. so glad again that we are together, and uh, we appreciate our guests from last mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. the other episodes. But we it's just something about this group mm -hmm. and that I get from you, ladies. It's the energy that mm -hmm. I feel, and I appreciate that every time we get together. So we thank you all for listening and joining in with us on time. We ask that you really do these things and really try to implement them in your daily life. Mm -hmm. And I promise you'll do better. You'll feel better and you'll feel more accomplished, mm -hmm. especially the part about. Christ oh, and taking yes. time with him. So let us pray. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for being God and thank you for the natural gift that you give us of time. Whether it be long, short, or indifferent, doesn't matter. It's never enough time. But we thank you and we ask that you bless us to maximize what you yes. do give us, God, and the time that we spend daily. God, help us to try these things, to make a to-do list, us. to focus on one thing at a time, to know that we are human, but you are God, and you oh, are yes. good, and you have blessed us, thank and you, you continue to bless us. So I ask that you continue to strengthen us. Anyone that is listening, watching this episode, bless them to be better with their time management and to 
strengthen their time management, God, and to use their time and to be present with their people yes. that they love, including you, most of oh, all yes. you, God. Oh, we yes. thank you for your goodness. Thank, we thank you, you for God. your mercy and your grace. In Christ Jesus' name Christ we pray, Jesus. and it's all these things this day. Amen. 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 We thank you Amen. so much for joining us on this episode of Let's Wrap, and we out. <laughs>